All right, here in the clinic, got another friend by the name of Jackson. He is a class two deep bite. We're gonna talk to you all about it. Let's go. Here he is. Check out this beautiful face. <laughs> okay, so Jackson, we're together. We're gonna show you what we got going on. We're gonna talk about our appointment today. So Jackson is a class two deep bite. Some, that, those are different ways to say things. They mean things to orthodontists. Class two, that typically refers to, right, the top teeth being forward compared to the bottom teeth. Specifically, it's talking about teeth in the back. Let me show you. Jackson is already in braces, so we've already started the treatment. So the class two refers to specifically this tooth up here, right, this first molar and its relationship to this molar down here. Sometimes you can say things like, class two canine or different things, but basically, right, the top molar is in front of the bottom molar. And usually we want the top molar to be a little bit behind the bottom first molar. Okay, we've got that on both sides. All right, and the reason why that's significant is because it can influence overbite, what we call overjet. I'm gonna have you tip your head way back, way back, way back, way back. Okay, you can see that right there. All right, so this space right here, all of this, this is what the orthodontist calls overjet, and we don't want that much. We usually want this to be back like this. And so if you have a class two molar relationship, sometimes that can indicate that you might have excess overjet. So I also said we're class two in a deep bite. Our bottom teeth here, right? When we look at his original photos, it's changed now because braces can help make your bites not as deep. Anyways. Deep bite, class two, so we got excess overjet, deep bite, and uh, but we didn't have much crowding. No crowding, no spacing. Sometimes you can say that as part of your treatment. So what we decided that we we're gonna do is his teeth, his teeth look pretty straight. We improved it a little bit with the braces. That's what they do. Now we're getting ready for the herpes. Something like this. So we've been in the braces for a couple months and now we're getting ready to use that device. It's gonna push our teeth forward just like that, all right? And now our relationship is better at the canines. We have no more of that overjet. And our molar relationship is going to be better. The top one will be a little bit behind the bottom, both sides. Okay, so we use the herps in our office. There's different ways. The bigger the overjet, the probably more important it is to have something that's glued in to try and get that predictable result. And again, timing is key. If we are trying to do this process after when we're an older teenager or as an adult, it's just probably not gonna work. And if you do it too early, then it's also not gonna work because we're not growing fast enough. Anyways, a lot that's going in. Today is our separator appointment. That means that we're gonna put these little donuts in between the teeth and that's going to help us create space so we can put the crowns from the herbs on the teeth. All right, so now that these are in, this is the first part of getting the actual herps in place once we've got all the brackets on. Now, some offices don't use any brackets for the herps, but in our office, we get the braces first usually, and then when we have the right wires, we feel like our bite is adjusted or the teeth are lined up a little bit better, then we go ahead and make certain appointments for the delivery of the herps. And prior to delivering the herps, we need to place these separators again because we're gonna have those crowns. You can check out our other videos, but we got those there and there. They're just the little donuts that fit in between the teeth. And the first time you get separators, they might feel a little bit tight. How do they feel right now to you, Jackson? Tight, tight, tight. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so they, they might feel a little uncomfortable. Don't just take random medication, but you know, whatever you would take for a headache, that might be something you can do to help alleviate the symptoms here. Now, different ways to put the separators in. You've got the uh, pliers that we just used, and sometimes you can use floss, so in case this ever falls out, you can try to use floss to, you know, floss on this side, floss on this side, pop it in place. And again, with this device, bite down for me, Jackson is growing, so we're gonna try and hold this forward, push it forward, and the bite is gonna hold like that for several months, and we hope that he grows into that bite so that his excess overjet is gone. I'm telling you, this is definitely the way to try to fix excessive overjet. 
instead of waiting until you to have to take out teeth or surgery. So let's check it out. So Jackson's been in treatment now for at least a few months. Yeah. What do you think? It's uh, crazy? Yeah. It's Easy? Weird. Hard? It's harder. Yeah. Harder. <laughs> Tell me, what is the hardest thing that, as a result of the braces? Oh, playing sports. Playing sports? Yeah. Tell me about it. Like a month ago, I got my lip busted open in basketball. Okay, so that can happen, right? Sometimes you wear mouth guards, but it's hard to find like a right mouth guard for yeah, the braces. Yeah, I tried one, it was too big. Yeah, it's just kind of tricky. Yeah. So you might be successful in finding something that works for you, but having braces, yeah, you can get elbow to the face? Yeah. Yeah. Classic. What else? Anything else hard or tricky? Uh, eating is a lot different. <laughs> Do you have anything that you would advise people not to eat? Starburst and Jolly Ranchers. Excellent point. No Starburst, no Jolly Ranchers. Anything that uh, you wish you would have known before you got braces or? Uh, don't eat like chips as much because it, or like granola bars because they get stuck super bad. So it's hard to get granola bars out. Very chewy, very sticky. Those are all things to watch out for. So Jackson, you've been wonderful. We're gonna go through the herbs together. A little bit more time in the braces. Once we get the herbs in, then it stays in there for several months and then the herbs comes back out. We put braces back on and try and like tidy everything up. But so, it, so it's a long process, hang in there. Just like Jackson, if you have excessive overjet, class two, right? And uh, you're interested in fixing your bite, stop by the office, schedule a consultation. Maybe you'll get to meet me and even better, Jackson. <laughs> we can journey together. So that's all I've got. Just a little PFO on you so you know where you're going. Packard out. Yeah.